Hey Bird Brain Gamers! Today I'm going to be going over the Bisami USB Digital Microscope. I just recently received this from Amazon. I believe I paid under $25 for it. That was the lowest one I could find. This is a budget digital microscope for anyone in collecting or any hobby just to look at things much closer I'm just gonna give you a little bit of uh, how this works and some tips and what to do with this so let's get started all right so this has an odd name it's spelled B Y S A M E Y E E that's the brand. I know it's international. Uh, this USB microscope you can find on Amazon or maybe eBay or other sites. It's pretty affordable. They usually run around the price range of $40 or less. It comes standard with this holder here. It is metal. It does twist here to adjust if you want to move it down. If you loosen it too much, it'll just pop apart, but you can't put it back together. This is plastic. That's the only thing I'm not a fan of. It looks like it could break pretty easily, so just be careful when you handle this. The microscope itself has a pretty long wire looks like it's about three feet long it has a snap button the red button here on the other side it has a zoom button this knob up here adjusts the focus And when you take off the lens, it has a lens. You just pop it off to keep the this cover. It's a cover lens. It keeps the main lens inside clear and it does have eight LED light, lights around if you can see it. So this is a three in one plug system. There's three ways that this connects. It comes with a case when you receive it in the mail. It unzips. It has a sleeve to hold the stand with the camera folded up. And it has this zipper pocket here with a little mesh net. It comes with uh, backup installation disc it's a mini disc it comes with the instruction manual it's a user manual gives you the email if you want to check more into it And it gives you a discount to get an upgrade metal. It's aluminum stand. This would be a much better stand. You can order this with the camera for just over $40. I've seen it on Amazon. I'll post it in the end if you're not satisfied with this standard stand. The wire that you use to plug it has a standard USB plug and it flips down. Just press it down and once you flip it down as a micro USB plug 
With this adapter, you can plug it into most cell phones, uh, like Android cell phone. And you just flip it back up if you want to plug it into your PC or laptop or MacBook. And then it also comes with this adapter that plugs into the USB port and it uh, converts it into a, a type C plug in case you want to plug it into something else. So keep this in mind the microscope does not it does not work with iPhones or iPads but it does work on Mac if you're a Mac user you can use the photo booth or QuickTime player to use this microscope directly if that's already installed in your system all you gotta do is plug it in to the USB port or whichever suits you best if you have Windows it's suitable for Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, and 10. If you're an Android user, search Camera Fi on Google Play to get the app installation. Android devices support the microscope using the OTG cable and a viewing application. If you're using Chrome OS, just click the default camera app that comes with Chrome, which I've done on my laptop here. It's very simple. You just, you can either type it in the bottom and search. If you're on a laptop or desktop, just click start and look for camera on the settings or type it in the search bar on the bottom type camera and just click it this will pop up and once you plug it in which I'm going to do right here there we go let's plug it in and this moment you plug it in, it starts to light up the camera. There you go. Camera is on and lit up. The LEDs automatically turn on. Now, if you want to lower the brightness you do have the option. The wire has a knob right here. And I'll show you the light to the camera. The light is right here. And this has a wheel knob. You turn the wheel knob and it'll lower the brightness and it will actually turn it off as well. So if you don't want it too bright when you're viewing, adjust it with the wheel knob that's a cool little feature and that and this could also be adjusted if it's connected to your mobile device cell phone anything anything that's that this works with even if you're not plugged into anything you could plug it to a USB plug and plug it to an outlet and this will light up and you can adjust it. This also works on Linux software, Raspberry Pi. So you can basically use this for, if you're a student, you need to research, this will help you. If you wanna do skin examinations, hair inspections, plant anatomy inspections, textile jewelry inspections, or any collections, coins, printing, and such. This would be a great help. 
Remember, this is a budget camera. It's not a high-end one. So this has a 40x by 1000x ratio magnification. Let me unplug this so we can see it better. Now how accurate that is, that is on you to decide. So the video format for this, AVI, PC interface, USB 2.0, photo format, JPEG or BMP, focus range 1mm to 90mm, magnification ratio, as I said, 40x to 1000x. Power source, 5 volt DC from a USB port. Light source, 8 LED. Adjusted by the control wheel that I showed you. The frame rate, max is 30 frames per second, under 600 lumens of brightness. Bundle software, micro capture with measurement and calibration function. System requirements. Pentium Computet with 700 megahertz and above. It has the CD-ROM measure tool, a micro measure, it can measure length and diameter's angle and perimeter area, etc. The operating systems I gave you, Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista, XP, and 2000. Mac X, 10.5 or above. Some Android mobiles, Linux, and Chrome. So this right here is pretty cool. This is the microscope micrometer calibration ruler so when you have your microscope turned on and you put this under it it actually read everything much closer and I'll show you how it works alright as you can see here I have my baby bamboo plant I have it pointed at a, a leaf you could use anything you want to adjust. I have this little foam block here. If you're able to mount it on anything that helps, just try it out. So, as you can see on the screen, we have a close-up of the leaf. It shows you the texture. Shows you the water droplets. You can always move your object around to get a closer look. Probably not gonna see it good here, but in person, it's much better. And you have the option to take a picture or record on your camera's settings. So anything that you want to see, you'll get a much better view. Over here on your camera settings, if you're on a desktop or laptop, you could take a picture of it and you can also record a video of it. There you go. <clears throat> so I'm recording a video of it. If you want to move it on, move it around for presentation purposes, the option is there. You need to adjust the zoom. You always have the option while you're filming. And you can adjust the brightness as well. It's a pretty neat little camera for the price. It's worth it. The stand I'm not a big fan of. But you can always upgrade to the aluminum one. Or if you're able to mount it, that works best for you. 
as you can see here I have the microscope micrometer calibration ruler just under it it'll be best if you have a white surface under it so you're able to read it much easier and you can see it on your screen and I'm gonna move it around and this is what it shows you on the microscope it's pretty neat alright so this will be helpful I'm gonna use this on my coin series because I actually need it for that mainly So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the USB digital microscope. I'll post uh, where you can find it and the price to help you better understand and helping you make your decision if you choose to purchase. Thank you for taking the time to watch this little review. I'll see you all next time on Bird Brain Gaming. Later, everyone.